Okay, welcome back to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be following up a bit on the fused glass project that we're trying. So this time around, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try just to engrave it. Now, I am going to run with a higher power setting. I'm going to run actually with the same power setting, about 22 milliamp years, but I'm going to run at a much faster speed. Instead of one millimeter per second, I'm going to run at 300 millimeters per second. Now I'm going to reduce the number of runs and just kind of see what kind of product we get out and how it affects the material. So let's go ahead and let's uh, watch a time lapse of it. Okay, we're back. I want to de-energize the laser before sticking my hand in there. And move magnet. So as we can see, once again, this has shattered it, but interestingly enough, it has um, it has engraved it. Um, this is interesting. Now this this again was done at full power, however at 300 millimeters uh, per minute, um, so which is pretty fast. It, it's, it's left a little bit of glass powder, so you might want to be careful with this, because it is it's, uh, fine glass powder where it's burned it. Um, that's interesting, uh, because this, this was also only at one pass, too across the whole thing full power at that speed. Um, tell you what, let's, let's, and you can see that this, I, I'm not, I don't know if you can, well maybe not, uh, because also the idea behind this is it goes to a slower mode to cut this out and you can see before I could stop it, it started to make the semicircle. Um, I, I simply don't think this is going to be able to cut it without cracking it because the problem I think here is going to be is the at the onset of the last video when I was talking about this the coefficient of expansion so I think what's happening here is this is getting hot and this is expanding uh, and it's cracking the material is what's happening so I think even if you cranked up the power the, the, the issue you're going to have with this is it's going to want to crack before it cuts however I think what you could do with this is uh, if you're going to do a stained glass piece or something like this you could probably use a little bit lower power setting and etch your design onto the material and then from there lay in all your little sparklies and that kind of stuff or or be a guide if you're going to use this for stained glass uh, to um, you know lay in the material or to cut it with I, because I'm, I'm kind of wondering I'm not a stained glass expert but I am thinking that uh, and, and I'd like to hear from you what you think of this down below it, it, is you could probably etch this I don't know how you quite break it but you could etch your design and probably use uh, nippers or something to make a more accurate cut I'm not sure so again I'd like to hear your comments and thoughts below sorry for the shadows because there's a light right above me anyways uh, hopefully you found this interesting again give it a thumbs up uh, for the experiment and hey subscribe to the channel a lot more of this coming hit me up in the comments below if you'd like to see anything specific and I'll try to do it for you cheers see you in the next video please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects